Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this first batch of videos, we're going to use list comprehensions to automate a bunch of tasks that you might encounter in your academic life. In this first video, we'll go ahead with the first exercise where we're going to use list comprehensions to generate large headers. So in this exercise, our task is to generate a LaTeX table that looks like this. You can see that this table has 20 columns uh, and that are each labeled a subscript number. Now, in order to generate a LaTeX table that looks like this, we'll need to generate the following text code. You can see that this text code is composed of 20 elements that have a similar format. So they have uh, the format of dollar a underscore number in the bracket dollar and we'll use list comprehensions to generate a list that stores each one of these elements so we'll start with creating a template for our uh, list <clears throat> we'll go ahead and create uh, first a, a list of 20 integers so i'm going to write i uh, for i in uh, range um, 1 to 20 i'm going to have to specify 21 as the last number in the range in order to include the number 20. So if I create a list like this, <clears throat> this will give me a list of 20 integers, 1 to 20. Now this is not yet what we want because we actually uh, need to turn each of these integers into strings. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now you can see that I get a list of strings. Uh, and to the left of, of each string, we're going to have to write dollar a underscore bracket. So we'll go ahead and do that. And to the right of that uh, integer string, we're going to uh, have to write a bracket uh, dollar. So now if I go ahead and create a list like this, I get almost uh, what we want to have. So I get a list of 20 strings that have the, uh, the format of dollar a underscore number dollar. And now the last thing that I need to do is to join all of these strings by this column separator end. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the join command and join all the elements in my list uh, I can join them by any user specified character. So for example, if I join them by a space, I'm going to get something like this. So you can see that each element in that list uh, is joined by the space. In our case, we're going to be joining those elements by space and space. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I got the text code that I needed. So I can go ahead and copy that code and paste it into my LaTeX table. Now, the last thing that I need to do is to specify to this tabular environment how many columns I have in my table. I can also use Python to do that. <clears throat> I can um, left center, specify the left center for all uh, elements in my table. And I'm going to generate 20 columns. So that will give me that string that I can copy and paste uh, into the tabular environment. If I now compile this uh, text code, then I get the table that we wanted to obtain. <clears throat> uh, if you also wanted to create vertical uh, lines in your table, we, you could do that just by modifying uh, this uh, string. So that will give us uh, also the vertical lines. Now if I compile that text code, then I also get those vertical separators. Uh, if you also wanted to uh, leave some empty space below that header table for putting some numerical values later, we could also do that with Python. So I can uh, uh, create uh, that empty space uh, I'm going to create 19 of these separators because I have 20 columns, so I need 19 separators. If I copy that and paste it here, then I get this extra 
empty row um, below where I can put some values later. So in the next videos, we're going to explore more applications of list comprehensions. See you then.